In this video, I am going to show you how to locally install Code Llama, which is a large language model from Meta. Code Llama can be used to convert text into code. I'll be using the Blog's quantized version for this tutorial, and I will drop the link to both Blog's website and Meta's website in video's description. For this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll be using AWS SageMaker Notebook instance, and I'm using G4DNX Large, which has one GPU. You can use any Linux instance for this demo, or you can use Windows with the git bash or linux subshell okay now let's get started i have already created my jupyter notebook in this one just select conda pytorch p310 and this will open this notebook for you the first step we need to do is to install transformer module so let's do it with the pip command let's run it should not take too long okay it's already done second step we need to do is to clone the auto GPTQ because we are using quantized version, so we need this auto GPTQ. So click on play, shouldn't take too long. That's already done. Now, CD to that auto GPTQ, it has downloaded the latest version, but we need the previous version. So I'm checking out the previous 3.2 version of auto GPTQ. So that's done. Now, let's install it. Installer installation of this takes around two to three minutes. So let's wait for it to finish. So auto GPTQ is sex successfully installed, which is great. Okay, now is the step to download this code lava model from the blog's website and then use the tokenizer to tokenize it and then initialize the model with these parameters. So let's run it. It should take a bit of a time because it will now download the model's version from the website and then we will use it. So as you can see, it is around four gig of size and the ETA is around two minutes. So let's wait for it to finish. It is almost at the finish line. Also make sure that you have around five to gig uh, GB of this space to accommodate this model. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't be long now, as you can see from the ETA. The download is almost finished. Let's wait for it to return the prompt. Cool, so that's done. Now let's run it. Now, as you can see, I'm using this prompt, write a bash script to delete all files older than 90 days with extension dot log. Maybe I will just remove this to make it quicker. And then this is a prompt templated um, expects, and then I'm just throwing it into, into the pipeline with a tokenizer and printing out the result. So let's run it to see what happens. It is running, as you can see from this direct, so let's wait for it to come back. Shouldn't take too long in my opinion. So it has produced the code here, as you can see below. So look at this, it has provided us the name of the script then some of the comments, and then it has given us this example that this can be used here, and this is the download links. Um, also, it has put in some uh, GitHub repository stuff, which is correct. Okay, now let's try to confuse it a bit and let me ask it write a function to add two numbers in any language of your choice. Let's run it to see what happens. It is running. Let's wait for it to come back. So it has come back with these tasks as an output uh, with the variations of the question which I asked. Okay, um, maybe I will make another video with uh, the examples of code. But in this video, let's let's keep it short and stick to the installation. So as you can see, these are the steps to install this code llama on your local system. 
as i said i will drop all the links i have used in videos descriptions and then you can apply it on your own i hope that you liked it if you have any questions or feedback please put them in the comments and um, thanks for subscribing to the channel thank you very much